Uh, what's going on guys? HK Titan here with a brand new video for you guys, but first things first, as always, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. In today's video, we're going to be jumping back into some more modded balloon star defense 6, and for today's modded balloon star defense 6, we are going to be checking out another modded map, and on top of that, we're also going to be checking out a new modded tower. So, the first, the first thing, uh, the modded map that we're going to be checking out is going to be the Bloons Tower Defense 1 map. So, for those of you who are veterans of Bloons Tower Defense, then you guys will know that this map is the very, very, very first map that was ever put out for Bloons Tower Defense. So, now that we went ahead and covered that, this map is very, very basic. It's actually kind of big, and there's a lot of corners here to work with, which means it shouldn't be too hard of a map to, for us to actually deal with. But for what you guys are here for, the modded tower that we're going to be checking out today is going to be Skippy. And what Skippy is, is it's a super, super uh, cheap tower to buy at the very, very start. He only costs $45. Dollars and for the price of 45 you guys get a very or a tower that provides a lot of popping power I'm so glad this tower was added to the game because we no longer need to rely on uh, Our ninja to deal with all of the balloons because we could just go ahead and spam down a flock of Penguins here and they could deal with a lot of the balloons all the way up to the point where we can start getting them buffed up Just a little bit all right, so we'll go ahead and try starting with five I'm fairly certain five should be enough to get us pat or get us through uh, and look guys look how they turn they they like waddle with the uh, balloons which is so so cool so when it comes to like uh, all of the up upgrades and stuff like that i'm not exactly sure uh how far they can go if it's going to be upgraded to a tier five or if there's going to be a tier six or much like like uh, the ninja monkey when we get to a certain amount of pops are they going to evolve so i'm super super excited to see what all happens with penguins all right so the first upgrade that we can buy is we can buy faster shards which it looks like it should have, uh, it looks like it might help a little bit. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, the balloons are making it a little bit further now, but we are on round 10. So I think, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, go for our Benjamin as soon as possible. That way we don't, uh, struggle with affording any of these upgrades. Now, I'm, I haven't gone through, I haven't tested this tower out at all. The only reason why I knew it would work, uh, for the first for the first couple of rounds is because the tower was so cheap and just in just in case we, we needed like 10 of them we could have placed down 10. all right there we go so now we have our benjamin so we shouldn't need to worry too much about our money uh, um, i might go for a couple of monkey banks but i'm not exactly sure uh if we're gonna need them or if we are gonna need them on top of that i don't know if these uh penguins have the ability to see a camo balloons or if they get the ability Ability to see a camo camel balloons at any given point in time. So I think what uh, I may have to do, I may end up throwing down a ninja just as like a last, just as like a last resort, just in case we need that little bit of added popping power. So I think I'm going to do that right now because we are staying or start or we are starting to get a little bit further in the game. On top on top of that, the balloons are making it past our penguins, so we might need to grab a couple more penguins here in a second. Right, so I think I'll add like. One more penguin here, and then we'll throw down another penguin here. Uh, I know I could probably up upgrade them to uh, increase their popping power a little bit, but uh, I I want to focus on up upgrading one at a time. So I'm gonna start off with this uh, Skippy right here to make to make sure that we have a little bit of additional popping power. And it looks like uh, he has 518 pops compared to the rest of these. Okay, so the faster shards definitely helps out. So I think we might actually want to upgrade all, all of these guys to faster shards just to add that little bit of added popping power. On, on top of that, I'm actually super excited to see if... Oh, so they can see camel balloons, guys. That's a game changer. Now the next thing we need to look at is, are they able to pop lead balloons? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I think we're going to stick with this uh, Ninja Monkey in the very, very back. Upgrade to Acidic Mixture Dip. Just in case uh, these these guys can't pop leads. Because, again, I haven't tested them out. So, I'm not sure what all they can, they can actually do. On top of that, uh, the more shards cost $5,700. That is a super, super expensive Tier 3. I think that's... Uh, I, th I think the only tier three that might be a little bit or might be around the same ballpark. Okay, so they cannot pop leads. That's really, really good information to have because uh, 
since they can't pop leads, we do need to throw an, al an alchemist on top of them. Just, just to make sure that we don't struggle with any, any of these early game rounds. All right, so on top of that, uh, it looks like we don't have uh, any abilities yet. So unfortunately, what you, what you see is what you get. All right, so hopefully our ninja can deal with the rest of these. Uh, even our ninja was struggling just a, li a little bit there. So we might end, end up throwing down a Iron Man in the very, very back. Just as like a, like a final, like a final, like fence of support. So guys, what I'm going to do, because all of these up upgrades cost quite a bit of money, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the point where I have a bunch of uh, banana farms going. And I'll bring you guys back as soon as I get a bunch of money. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and bring you back on round 50. And as you guys can see, uh, we have all of our monkey banks going right now. Uh, I just I just collected a little bit to go ahead and get these three banks go going. Also, I had to upgrade our iron monkey to the codename Python just to make sure that we didn't lose to any balloons. Even though we have all of these penguins go going and we could start to up upgrade one of them to like more shards. Uh, they still don't have a lot of popping power uh, to deal with like ceramic balloons or anything like, like that. So let's go ahead. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove a couple of these penguins to go ahead and see uh, just how good at popping balloons they actually are. So let me see here. Let's go ahead and remove you, remove you, remove you. Come over here, grab another Skippy, uh, upgrade him all the way to the more shards here in just one second. There we go. Okay, so it looks like uh, its popping power isn't that great. I'm not gonna lie, is popping power is kind kind of weak, especially for the price of like the tier three. Uh, I don't know if it's if it's gonna be like a good solution for uh, any of the other towers as of right now, because I know if we use the ninja monkey with the alchemist, we would definitely not struggle with any of these these rounds all the way up until like round fi like 58 or 56, uh, be because the ninja alk is a really really good con combo one thing i will say though i will say this fact that uh the tower is so so cheap it can definitely be used as a tower to start off on chimps on impoppable mode so uh in that regards it's not a bad tower to start a game off with uh I, actually i kind of take it back with chimps be, because the fact that you can't sell in, in chimps and you need to place down so many in order for it to actually work uh, it might not be a good tower to start off with on chimps, but every other game mode where you can actually sell the towers, that's when it would be a little bit more useful. Alright, so I'm super excited to uh, get a little bit more money here in our banks. That way we can go ahead and upgrade him to the godly power. Uh, are you 100% certain? Uh-oh. Ooh. So it looks like he turns into like a penguin version of the sun av avatar and then, whoa. Transforming penguins, $22,140, guys. That's a lot of money. All right, so much similar to uh, the Sun Avatar, the Godly Power cannot pop purple balloons. So what that means is that we that we would need to throw a Monkey Village on top of it, upgraded to the uh, MIB, in order for it to pop all different types of balloons. And actually, I kind of placed this Monkey Village wrong. He's blocking our uh, penguin boy here. Let's bring it down here. There we go. So now we can see what he looks like. All right, cool. So it looks like we might actually need to go for a funky farm too. Just from the simple fact that uh, the transforming penguins cost a lot of money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a banana farm down here. And I'm going to get it up upgraded all, all the way to a... Uh, do a funky farm and then since we already know what the uh, godly power does we'll, we'll go ahead and fast forward to the point where we can afford to upgrade to the transforming penguins and i'll bring you guys back once more all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and bring you back on round 80 because now we can go ahead and collect all from our banks and then we can go ahead and sell our banks and we should be able to afford the funky farm here in just one second so far the uh or so far skippy has been doing a great job in dealing with all of the rounds even though the iron monkey does need to pick up a little bit of slack but when it comes down to it skippy does have more pops than the iron monkey so he is doing a pretty decent amount of work all right so we need to collect up 50,000 bananas in order for the banana farm 
uh, to actually transform into the funky farm. And then once we get the funky farm, then we're gonna, we should be able to buy the transforming penguins here in just a second. All right, so we're at 32,000 there. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and collect all and sell these because we really don't need the mon monkey banks because as soon as we get the, fun the funky farm, our money is going to go absolutely crazy. All right, so again, so far, uh, it looks like the tier 4 Skippy has just as much popping power as a Sun Avatar. And these balloons are actually making it really, really far, so I think I may actually buy ourselves a monkey village to throw on top of him as, as, as well. Just to give him a little bit of additional popping power. I know it might increase his range to the corner here, but that's all right, guys. All right, so let me see. We're at 39,000 bananas in our banana farm, so we should be able to get the funky farm here in just one second. So uh, I'm super excited to see what the transforming penguin is actually going to be. Unfor unfor unfortunately, we got our banks going a little bit later than I would have liked. So uh, we aren't we aren't going to be able to see exactly what the transforming pen pe penguins th can actually do for a couple of rounds. And there we go, go guys. Now we officially have the funky farm. So we should be able to afford our Skippy here in just one second. All right, so cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a fast forward bit to the point where we can afford to buy the funky farm. And I'll see you guys here. In, er, not funky farm, but transforming penguins. So I'll see you guys here in just a second. All right, guys. It only took a couple of rounds, and now we have the transforming penguins. So, it looks like uh, he doesn't get any massive increase to his popping power. It looks like he has the same amount of po uh, same amount of popping power as the uh, tier four, but we do have an ability now. Ooh, look at that, guys! He has a massive amount of popping power now. It looks like what it does is it turns him into a true sun god, but. It's an ability, so it's not a permanent true, true sun god. But the cooldown is so short, he pretty much is a permanent true sun god. So it said transforming, uh, transforming penguins. So, what if we throw down another penguin here? Does that it transforms him into a plasma super monkey? Yo, how strong is this? Oh, it turns it into a mini sun god. That's even better than than a plasma mo monkey. That's actually insane, guys. But the real test is going to be on round 100. Is the... I guess it's like a penguin version of the true sun god. So a true sun god penguin. Or a god penguin. Did our Skippy just turn into a god penguin? That's actually insane, dudes. Like, look at how strong this is. And I wonder how many of these penguins we can put down that will actually transform into uh... I right, so it looks like uh, we could transform four so far. I'm actually kind of cu curious. So one, two, five. Um, I wonder if I can. Let's buy a tech bot really, really, really quick and turn and turn this on so it's constantly active. All right. So it looks like we're up to six. Yeah, six, seven. Wait, no. Uh, two, four, six, seven. All right, seven, uh, eight. Can it go up or is the number infinite or is there only a, cer a certain amount of penguins that are able to be transformed? I'm not exactly sure. Is there a description? No, there is not a description for the, uh, for the actual, uh, penguin God. I think, I think we're not going to call him Skippy anymore. We'll, we'll call him the penguin God. But look at that, guys. That's actually insane. Oh, and that was round 100. Whoa. <laughs> guys, like, I'm super, super excited. Or I'm, I'm super, super excited to see what round the uh, Penguin God can actually make it to. Because that's actually insane, dudes. He could transform all of these penguins. I'm wondering if it's like the mechanic of the Center Pathway Dart Monkey. If, if he can boost up to 20 monkeys at the same time. So guys, if you would like to see what round the true penguin god can make it till, make sure you guys hit, hit that like, like button. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe as well. I do upload quite a bit of Balloon Star Defense 6 content. But anyways, guys, you already know what time it is. I hope you guys have the most amazing day of your lives. And I will see you guys in the next one.